Every year, 10 million women and men experience some form of domestic violence. For our next guest, it took away 10 years of her life. When I was about 20 years old, I worked as a waitress in a restaurant. I met this guy in his 40s. I was very vulnerable at that time. I had just broken up with a boyfriend, so Alan was a nice guy, I thought. The first time I thought things were kind of strange was when I was in the car with him and he asked me if I wanted to do cocaine. I knew it wasn't right. I lost my apartment and I needed a place to stay in and I rented a room from him. That first year is when he started hitting me. He just had a rage in him that he just would snap. He kicked me, he pounded on me, and knocked me out. Almost every time I would end up on the floor in a fetal position and he would just be kicking and punching until he was done. That's kind of how it was for 10 years. He slapped me upside the head and I heard the snap and I knew that my nose was broken but I uh, thought there was a blood clot in my nose and I pulled out what I assumed was my septum. It was like cartilage. I couldn't go get help. Alan had contracted a hepatitis C and he got really, really sick and it killed him. I have trouble looking in the mirror. It makes me remember everything he ever did to me. I see a victim and I wanna see a survivor. Everyone, please welcome Donna to our stage. Donna, thanks. thanks for bravely sharing your story. You've been through so much and for so long. Over the course of those 10 years and subsequently, what's been the toughest part? The isolation. I hid my face basically for 20 years and it, it wasn't just the physical, it was the emotional that was tied to that. I didn't have any friends. Um, I couldn't go do anything social. I did have family there for me but um, not during that time. It was a little hard for them to be around me. How do you feel about yourself right now and how do you feel about who you are when you do look in the mirror? Um, I still struggle with that. When I look at my profile, that's when I break down. I, I do see me now when I look in the mirror. I see me. I'm happier now and I'm on a path of healing and to be here, it kind of took a lot. So if I can do this, I can do anything. Can I see you, I see the light there. Yeah, I think it's wonderful. Was there a reason why you didn't try to, you know, address the physical issues? I, I think at that time, when I was in the abuse, I, I don't think I could have. And, and that scares me because if, if he hadn't have, have died, I don't know if, if I would have made it out. Is it true, Donna, though, what I heard, that you couldn't so much as get on a phone call without him hovering over you and, and controlling every single element of your life? When I would talk to family, he would be standing right there. When I talked to friends early on, that's why I stopped calling them because he would be standing there and here's my nose broken and my friends want to see me someday and I can't, I couldn't see them. So I stopped calling them. Well, we are proud of you for your ability to persevere through all this, obviously. Emotional scars, physical scars. After hearing Donna's story, we decided to send her to our friend, Dr. Alessi, to see if her nose might be saved. Hello, I'm Dr. Alessi. So uh, what brings you in here? For 10 years, I was in a really abusive relationship. He had broken my nose right here. I am really self-conscious about it. Okay, Donna, we're gonna take a quick look inside your nose with the scope. So we're going through the uh, the left nostril right now. This septum here should go all the way back along the midline here, but it's completely missing. Everything else looks uh, pretty much intact. If you go through the other side, it's still the exact same picture because there's just there's no septum there. There's no way you can get any cartilage from inside there, so if you had to have surgery, it couldn't come from there. It probably would have to come from your rib. They're gonna have to make some kind of complex structure here that would get, basically give support to everything. So I can give my recommendation as to what needs to be done and we'll see what happens, okay? Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.